Today I'm going to make this plate steel and chain link scrap load for my gondola. It is made out of everyday household items, it does not cost very much at all, and is very quick and easy to do. So if you want to see how it's done, stay tuned. I'm proud to announce that this video is brought to you by the Yankee Dabbler. They are a full line model railroad store specializing in DCC. You can use my coupon code CRNE for an additional 5% discount on all regular priced items. Now please enjoy the video. Here we see a load that I made previously. I'm going to show you how to get to this point. I'm just a pile of material. They're fairly lightweight and they are removable. So for the base material we're going to use this foam core board. It is lightweight. It's inexpensive. I think I got this at the dollar store. It's easy to cut. Here you see me just tracing out the shape of the car with a pencil to be cut out later. So all you need to cut the board is a nice sharp hobby knife and a straight edge. Use safety precautions, the knives are very sharp. They cut through the foam core board very easily. So after a couple test fits, you have to trim it down a couple times. You see it fits in there very easily and is easily removed. I have a variety of colors that I mixed up, very watered down, some browns, oranges, reds, yellows, just to make a rusty color. What I would do now is I paint the foam board, the sides are white, so I paint those, I paint a little bit on top of the black. Now you don't want to oversaturate the board. The board can become flimsy if it gets too damp. So just a nice light coat. As you see here, I used a very inexpensive instant oatmeal box to make the plate steel. I just painted on that watered down paint mixture and later on we will cut this into strips and into shapes. Now the chain link is made from very inexpensive wedding veil material. You can get it at most craft stores. I simply take it and cut it into strips. Then I drag it right through that watered down paint mixture. I dab most of it off, taking care to not block off the chain link holes. And then I just let it dry. Very quick and easy. Now to make rolls of chain link, I simply roll the material around the end of a paintbrush. I like to leave mine fairly loose and then re-dip it into the paint water mixture, taking care to dab it off and not block the holes in the chain link. And I just set it off to the side to dry. Next we'll use our scale ruler in order to measure out our plate steel from the cardstock. I like to keep them about five feet to eight feet widths. After measuring and marking the cardstock, I simply cut it out with the scissors 
And I take the strips that I cut and I cut those into squares, rectangles, triangles, just of various sizes. Next, I would spread a thin layer of tacky glue on top of the foam core. This is going to be a nice base to start to lay my plate steel out. Okay, now let's have some fun with this. This is the part where you can use your creativity and enjoy. We have all the random different cuts of plate steel. You just want to lay them in there very random. Stacking them, crisscrossing them, just making them look as if they were thrown in there. There would have been scrap ends of pieces of material that are not going to be used. They would have tossed them in the gondola to send off to the scrapyard to be remelted down. So have fun with it. Then once you get your plate steel the way you're happy with it, then that's when you would add in your chain link. And again, that will be a random pattern as well. And you could kind of unravel them partly, make them look a little like they're coming apart. It's just have a good time with it. This is where you use your creativity and just have fun. Make this load yours. Enjoy this process. These are, these are fun loads to make. There's no really right or wrong way. Just whatever looks good to your eye. So now that we have our load laid out and we're happy with the way it looks, we can always add some dimension to the load just by adding different shades of paint. Blacks, browns, reds, yellows, more of the paint water mixture with the rusty water we had from earlier as well. So as we know, as steel rusts and ages, the darker it gets. So we can tell a story with this load for sure. Has this load of plate steel been sitting around in an old abandoned siding for some time? Well then we can tell that story just by the color of the weathering of the steel. You can also use a more beat up and aged gondola to have it in. Have fun with it. Tell a story. As you can see, it is very fun, very inexpensive, and very easy to do. So, have fun with it. Please remember to check out the Yankee Dabbler as well. Enjoy a 5% off discount using the CRNE coupon code. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.